Marco Britti may be Italian, but reveals it was his fascination with the mix of Cuban and Chinese culture he experienced while living near Havana's Chinatown in the 90s that inspired his career as a New York restaurateur. Just uh, such a blend of uh, culture. And so for me to uh, have discovered his story and tr transformed that story into a restaurant was uh, the fun part. The story dates back to the mid-19th century when Chinese immigrants first arrived in Cuba, eventually creating El Barrio Chino, literally translating to the Chinese neighborhood. In uh, 1900, uh, Havana was the largest Chinatown in Central America. And uh, that was because of this immigration of Chinese that came in. And uh, matter of fact, there was even a very popular uh, newspaper called the Conguapo that had the, um, the prints in Spanish and Chinese in order to bridge the gap in between the people. The cultural bond between the two date back almost two centuries, but the official relationship between China and Cuba date back to 1960. That's when Cuba became the first government in Latin America and the Caribbean to formalize ties with Beijing. Pretty open Calle Dao in New York in 2014 to pay homage to the rich history of El Barrio Chino. Today, he owns three locations in the city, all offering diners a rich taste of Cuban-Chinese cuisine. It looks fantastic. He introduced us to some dishes he calls fan favorites. Tell me what we've got here. What's this? This one is a Cuban uh, spring roll. So same uh, feeling as a Cuban sandwich, but with the crisp of the spring roll and the mustard on the side as a dipper. That's genius. That's yes. really fusion. And then what's this? This is the uh, Ropa Vija noodles. So we imported just the uh, steak, uh, Cuban style, cooked into the noodles and, and mixed the, the, the two cuisine. And then we have the Cuban fried rice um, with shrimp in this case. And we have the chorizo and maduro in there. They're Looks amazing. Mmm. That is so good. You can taste all the different flavors coming together. While Cuban Chinese food establishments flourished in New York, thanks to an influx of these immigrants starting in the 1950s, Britty says today there are only a handful of restaurants still offering the niche cuisine. He says he's happy to help keep the traditions of old Havana's Chinatown alive. It's something everybody can enjoy now through, through history, but also through an experience of a restaurant, so cocktails, food, music is all part of the Cuban culture. Karina Mitchell, CGTN, New York.